With the proper components, you, you now can see that we have a good goal for student learning that is now in a smart format. One, it's specific. The learning goal is focused by the essential content standards and curriculum. It's measurable. The learning goal describes the student cognition of the learning so a valid, reliable, and fair assessment can be selected and or developed. It's appropriate. The learning goal is within the teacher PLC control to affect change and ambitious enough to stretch student learning to a high level of student cognition and depth of knowledge. It's reasonable. The learning goal is feasible for a teacher to teach within the interval of instruction. And finally, it's time bound. The learning goal can be summatively assessed within the interval of instruction. This structure will allow teachers and PLCs to develop valid and reliable assessments to measure student progress towards that goal and establish rigorous targets for all students in their class or classes.